gentlemen, as you can see, uh, like I said, this is a aftermarket. This is not factory. I can almost assume somebody put this on and over torqued it, over tightened the 10 millimeter bolts and cracked this. Okay, because all the cooling was coming from up in this area. And it was dripping down on top of the water pump, which can easily lead you to believe that the water pump is leaking. It's leaking, which when in fact it's coming from the, this is called a crossover tube, okay? And this is a thermostat in the housing. So what I have here is uh, a new crossover tube I'm about to install and a new thermostat housing, okay? It's fairly easy, at least it looks easy. I gotta get this motor mount up and out the way and it should be visible right here. All right, so without wasting any time, like I said, I'm replacing it because it's leaking under pressure and while the car is running, a lot of cooling is just spilling right here. And right underneath it is the water pump. So if you look down under there, it would look, it would appear that the water pump is leaking when in fact it was coming from here. So let me get to replacing this and uh, I try to film as much as I can. Let's get to it. You will need a jack stand to support the engine up because we're about to remove this motor mount right here we got to get it out the way all right so let's take all these bolts off and three up top up front and two in the rear let's remove these bolts because the motor mount engine support has to come off all right so simply get that out your way now you have another motor mount right here we have 16 millimeter heads on the 13 we got to get that out the way and then we will be able to gain access to this crossover tube that we are about to replace. Let's get it. All right, let's get this mount out. All right, we got that out of the way. Now we can see the housing removing all the bolts i want you to keep in mind notice something right here the long bolt is going to have a little gasket on them, right so just uh if it don't come out with the bolt you best believe it's just stuck inside of the uh, crossover tube housing all right see this one right here it looks like it's about to come out but uh you want to put these back inside of the new uh crossover housing all right, it just helps with sealing this out. So all the long ones gonna have that little seal ring on it. All right, so let's finish getting this up. Okay, now we're gonna take all these bolts out. I already got the holes off right here and this thing should be ready to come off. Let's find out. Again, I highly suspect it's cracked. Now, they don't crack on their own, so something had to uh, trigger that. Uh, same with our uh, oil filter adapter housing, man. They said a lot of those uh, failures was uh, internal, or not internal, but it was self-inflicted, okay? Uh, lube guys was possibly tightening them up too tight. There is a torque spec on them, all right? So we want to be careful about tightening things up over torquing them and uh cracking them all right this should be ready to come off by now can y'all see that yes this will trick you you would think it's your water pump now chances are depending on the mileage it's probably a good chance or a good time to go ahead and replace the water pump while you're down there get your thermostat water pump and a crossover tube well the crossover tube is not really a wear item so it's not it don't just wear here it is, ladies and gentlemen, your crossover tube. Um, it may be hard to visibly see the crack, but this thing was leaking like right up in this area with the new thermostat and housing on it. So this is the part that we replace the stress crack on here. All right, so I'm not going to waste time, and I'm not going to waste time filming uh, installing it. Here's the new one. Simply reverse the removal procedure and you should be home free don't forget you are going back in with a new thermostat housing uh, don't forget also to bleed the cooling system when you're done here's the bleeder screw right here and that should about do it 
always, always test drive your car after everything done. Then top off the reservoir. This is the washer fluid, but the reservoir is over there. So top that off, and that should about do it. That's all I have, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. I just showed you how to track down a coolant leak that could easily be misled or look like the water pump. Okay, so uh, it turned out to be the uh, crossover tube. All right, so that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.